So maybe you have seen this new video uh, by Tech Lead where he asks uh, like the following question. Let's let's have a look. Grind harder, put in the hours, wake up early, but nobody ever tells you what to actually means. In fact, the path to success is often fun and easy. Have you ever noticed how everyone seems to tell you to work hard, grind harder, put in the hours, wake up early, but nobody ever tells you what to actually work on? except to maybe go to the gym and somehow this is going to uh, make you successful because nobody knows what to actually do. There's nothing to do. There's no actual work for anyone to do around here. What do you want me to do? Build you a little app, some little stupid mini game, in-game monetization, microtransactions. You want me to make you a blog? <laughs> I especially like this case. So definitely uh, I, I wouldn't recommend doing a blog uh, in this day and age. Okay, so uh, in this video, I thought, okay, it would be interesting to explore what to do. So to add to, because uh, Tech Lead asked the question, nobody's, always, oh, nobody's talking about this. I thought, okay, maybe have a shot at it. But of course, it's difficult. Nobody knows, as Tech Lead says, nobody knows what to actually do. So uh, let's take another approach here. Take the approach of Charlie Munger, uh, who got this approach in turn uh, from Carl Gustav Jacobi, a German math genius. Uh, who solves hard problems with a simple idea, invert, always invert. So we are going to explore what not to do because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's much simpler to actually solve the opposite problem, how to die in a gen AI world, generative AI world. Yo, I'm the kingpin, rain with the ink pen Spitting cold, clean, sharp as a fix to spin Hey, I in my pocket, tech with a profit <laughs> So you see, much the of the labor topics. will be automated with generative AI elevate, This one I just created with it, it's Juno It's a rap battle, 90s hip-hop rap battle on Thinkster Thinkster's very popular Which is to have you be on the right side of the change so let's start with the first step, what not to do. The first step would be to literally die, right? To eat unhealthy food, smoke, drink alcohol, don't move your body, take drugs, uh, be lazy all the time, don't take care of your left loved ones, watch Netflix all day, isolate yourself, do all the, all the bad stuff and you will die. Uh, AI or not AI world, right? So this is literally step one to die in a gen generative AI world. Step two is to get scammed by AI. So if you get scammed, you lose everything. So no matter how hard you you have uh, you have built you build up your wealth, say, or your uh, um, savings. No matter how much success you have reached, no matter your position and your objective um, um, point in life, you will you will lose everything if if you uh, get robbed, if you get scammed, if somebody hacks you and steals everything from you. Uh, yeah, so this example here, a Hong Kong financier worker was dumped. Uh, so he he tra actually transfer transferred 25 million from a company account to a fraudster. And the fraudster had just created a deep fake of the finan chief financial officer, the CFO, who ordered him to transfer the 25 million via video call, right? I mean, this could happen to all of us. Uh, and uh, it will happen to more and more of us. So we need to be, we need to, to take cybersecurity serious or by inversion, this one, like these boring things, not how, what, how to die quickly would be to get scammed and to not take cybersecurity seriously. So this is second step, get scammed by AI. The third step is to simply do something illegal, right? This is also a sure way to um, lose and to die in a, in a post-generative AI world. Uh, here's an example of the Real Madrid coach who got um, jailed for tax fraud in the millions. Here's another one, uh, Bitcoin Jesus, Roger Ware, he's an early crypto investor. I don't know how many billions he, 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 he owned. He had everything, right? But then he, he uh, got char charged with tax fraud and uh, or jailed as well. So do something illegal, lose everything, cut co cut corners, a sure way to get to get uh, to die in a post generative AI world. Another one is to focus on the so called hard skills like coding, like writing, like uh, doing something real, right? Uh, 
maybe sales, maybe uh, maybe sales is a bad example. So the hard skills like um, technical skills, uh, being like the lawyer, maybe understanding the law, um, getting being able to cite different passages of different um, um, law material and stuff, right? So these kind of hard skills uh, tend to get disrupted earlier than the soft skills, such as the human touch, such as talking to other people, communication skills. Uh, soft skills have a longer staying power. Probably the, the woman working uh, or the woman or man working in the kindergarten of your son or daughter, they will outlast your, your work as a knowledge worker, right? So the hard skills uh, are actually the skills that get disrupted first <laughs> in our times. So uh, one exception is if you are exceptional in what you do, if you are like, uh, say, the, the best person in something in the world, then AI is likely not to not going disru to disrupt you in the next 10 years or so, right? Next step five to uh, die in a post-generative AI world is to violate the simple golden rule. The golden rule is uh, to, to um, spend less than you make, right? And invest the rest into capital assets. And the golden rule inverted would be to spend more than you make. So our economy consists of capital and labor. These are the two, two um, factors that determine our econo economic output, right? So we need intelligent labor that generates stuff and we need capital resources that help us generate stuff more efficiently. And uh, actually in our world, l intelligent labor becomes less and less important due to AI and also other, other things. Here's an example uh, I found on Reddit. Uh, labor inherently has little value. Capital is what gives the vast major majority of value. Imagine you're stuck on an island with no resources and it takes eight hours to catch a fish. That same person with a boat and a fishing net can capture hundreds of fish in far less time. Or try this. Imagine you think your labor is being exploited. Go in the woods and make a better life. Okay, so the, the, the idea here is that capital is a scarce resource. And we, uh, who want to be on the right side of change, we need to focus on capital, not labor. We don't need to work so, so much. We, don't, we should not focus on working hard, working more, working a lot, working for other people. We should, we should not focus on enriching the owners of capital asset. We should try to become the owner of capital assets. And capital assets then this plays into, into the next point, step six, how to lose in a, in a uh, post-generative AI world to own weak assets. Weak assets are getting disrupted, displaced or debased. Uh, example for something that gets debased is fiat currency, something that gets displaced could be like gold getting displa displaced by uh, some crypto assets with scarcity with ultimate scarcity uber stock is getting displaced by say the tesla robo taxi network um, me too blocks like if you just have another block probably probably you are currently losing traffic um, because google doesn't send you traffic anymore you're getting displaced or disrupted by ChatGPT. Uh, if you have blockbusters it was getting disrupted and displaced by netflix if you owned a newspaper business, you were getting displaced by Wikipedia bloggers, bloggers who are now getting displaced themselves. So it's always changing. If you own weak assets, whether you, you are the owner, the, the single owner or a partial on, owner of a business, whether you are an owner of a monetary good like uh, US dollar, uh, Euro, Chinese Wang, Bitcoin, <laughs> anything if you if you own anything um you need to you need to be um aware of uh it getting debased potentially so what is the risk of it getting de debased and different assets have different risks of getting debased weak assets are getting de debased very quickly disrupted very quickly uh that here is an example of a tur turkish lira versus us dollar it's getting debased really quickly right they produce more turkish lira then they produce uh, US dollars. So Turkish, Turkish lira loses in value against US dollar. And if you own Turkish lira, you're getting, you are losing 
for sure in a post-generative AI world, you're dying for sure if you, if you have the wrong, if you own the weak assets. The next step to uh, get um, disrupted in a post-generative AI world is to work for losers. If uh, you are being employed for working for a company that is getting disrupted by artificial intelligence, this will be brutal for you. you uh, your job will get um, harder and harder. Your pay will suck. Uh, you will get squeezed a lot. There's no upward mobility in your company, in your organizations. Uh, if, you are, if you work in a company or for an organization that is losing, everything will be so tough there will be layoffs, people will compare you, the, the, the culture in the company will be really negative, it will, it will pull you down working in such a place. So you should, if, you, if, you, if you want to lose, if you want to die, then work for losers, work in a losing environment. An example would be, say, Duolingo, yeah, with the bubble fish coming to life real soon. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you just checked out the latest AI tools, uh, that we discussed on Finkster, the Bubblefish application is somebody speaks in their language and it get, it's getting translated. Um, the speech is getting translated at real time by the Bubblefish in the ear. So it's a science, science fiction concept from the Hitchhiker's Guide uh, to the Galaxy. And um, it, is getting, it is getting real, right? So what happens if it is getting real? Why should you learn a language, right? Duolingo could be disrupted uh, soon. Uh, online translation services are getting disrupted. If you own such a company, if you work for such a company, uh, it will be it will end badly. And if if you work, say in uh, in as an ice, uh, so the traditional car manufacturer that is not electric and not autonomous, uh, that does not does not work autonomous autonomously, so it doesn't drive itself the cars then you are getting disrupted by say tesla as well right and uh, it will get really bad for you you are on this losing curve here whereas somebody else is sitting on this winning curve you and and if you work for the loser here things will get tough so you should switch teams go join the winners um the next step um to to die in a post-generative AI world is to fight exponential progress. So if you are to, to produce average stuff, say in a field where, where some solutions, some AI solutions already exist and they are getting better. And your argument is, oh, they are still bad. And this is, this is everything that protects you. And this actually, this is a huge point, right? Because it, it, it affects most of us. Uh, if we produce average stuff in a field where a bad AI solution already exists, we are fighting exponential progress we are against the exponential progress which is a really bad position to be in and if you look at the human performance level at 100 percent you see like in different disciplines like hand writing recognition speech recognition image recognition reading comprehension language understanding common sense completion grade school math code generation soon health analysis and stuff right these these things um you see how AI, how in this plot, AI is, has started with subpar performance compared to human level performance, but they have over time exceeded human level performance in this field, which means that it becomes prohibitively costly to hire a human to do the average performance, right? The 100% performance. So you need to be either exceptional, like at 200% or so, right? Exceptional or just don't do it. There's no way of, you cannot hold still progress, right? Progress will just happen and there's nothing to do against it. Next step to lose in a post-generative AI world is to mid-curve it, to be like the, um, the doubter who is always doubting it, uh, to, who refuses to adopt new AI tech, who uses words like large language models are only toys, party tricks, overhyped and stuff. If you always doubt it, if you are like a, um, um, like this, have this, what is called as like the um, boomer mentality, right? Sorry for using the word. Um, then, then you will get actually doomer. It's called the doomer mentality, right? Because it's not all boomers. 
are doomers. <laughs> but uh, but many many non-boomers are also doomers, right? It does it has nothing to do with the age. Uh, if you are a doomer, if you're mid-curving it, if you are dou doubting the progress, you will lose. Because I mean, your boss will know you are doubting these kind of tools. They know you are. Uh, so say say you say you you were doubting Google initially because it initially it had really bad performance. It didn't find the right stuff on the internet. Uh, but it was be, it was on an exponentially improving curve, right? Google initially was on this curve, so a human could find better content manually, and Google was somewhere here, but it was Im improving exponentially, right? And uh, if you were refusing to adopt Google, you became worthless as a coder. Um, so just adopting AI tools is often everything that's needed for you for your job to to remain safe so this is basically the main idea of the Fingster academy so you can join our courses academy.fingster.com uh, like uh, the courses teach you how to use for example hugging face to run free and open source large language models on your local machine or in the cloud uh, so you you still like remain your worth your value in the marketplace so check out academy.fingster.com uh, to to remain relevant in tomorrow's world Finally, the last point is to stop changing, right? So do not read the Fingster newsletter. Don't visit Fingster.com to subscribe. Uh, do not subscribe to our free newsletter. Uh, do not like this video. Don't subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, because change um, is something that you should not be good at if you want to lose in tomorrow's world. Okay, so now we have those points how to lose in tomorrow's world right we we found the 10 points how we can sh lose for sure so the exercises would be uh, to ask any large language model of your choice like llama 370b to invert the rules right and i have created a rap battle that will now just invert everything prioritize your mental and physical health eat nutritious food exercise regularly maintain a healthy work-life balance and nurture your relationships stay safe from eye-driven scams and security threats educate yourself on deep fakes phishing and other ai powered scams use strong passwords 2fa and keep your software up to date play by the rules and maintain integrity focus on building a strong reputation by doing the right thing even when it's hard avoid shortcuts and unethical behaviors that can harm your reputation and relationships develop a balance of hard and soft skills invest in developing both technical skills edgy coding and essential soft skills communication empathy problem solving to stay relevant and effective Live below your means and invest in your future Manage your finances wisely Save and invest in assets that will appreciate in value Participate in the economy as an owner, not just a laborer Own assets will thrive in a post-AI world Invest in assets that are likely to appreciate in value such as AI leaders, tech giants, or scarce non-fiat assets. Bitcoin. Work for companies that embrace AI and innovation. Join organizations that are proactively adopting AI and innovation to stay ahead of the curve. Create exceptional value in your field. Focus on producing high quality work that complements AI solutions and continuously improve your skills to stay ahead of the competition. Embrace AI tools and stay up to date. Stay curious, experiment with new AI tools and continuously learn from resources like Academy, Thinkster.com, Thinkster Newsletter, and Thinkster YouTube. Stay informed and adaptable. Regularly update your knowledge and skills to stay relevant in a rapidly changing AI-driven landscape. Okay, so so go to Vinks.com, check out our free email newsletter. We have 160,000 coders there. Uh, it's fun. Uh, my main purpose in life is to help you be on the right side of change. Check out the Finkster Academy. Go to academy.finkster.com, browse our course library. Check out if you need some of those skills to, to be on the right side of change, right? I bet you will. And um, yeah, you can also join all Academy courses by becoming a member on the Finkster YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.